The title of this video is not clickbait, maybe 50% clickbait. Andrew here from Get Into Game Dev. If you've been watching my channel, you'll notice that back in the day, I did a few videos on ray tracing in Python, and it was okay. Performance wasn't so good. But then it hit me. We've got this graphics card. Why don't we just take all of our ray tracing code and throw it onto the graphics card? general purpose GPU computing. The graphics card is massively parallel. We can run, I don't know, it'll try to parallelize the code as much as possible. Um, here's what I came up with. We'll just give this a second. I had this brilliant idea to um, adjust the um, frame size based on performance. So at what it's doing at the moment is it's just kind of upsampling the resolution dynamically. So this is exactly the same code as I had before, except it's running on a compute shader and it is running in real time. Whoops. There we have it. I think that's pretty cool. So this is just like a quick demo. The code is not perfect. As we can see, um, the ground is not quite reflecting the um, orange sphere in a satisfactory way. Um, and GLSL doesn't allow for recursive functions. So I had to try to um, turn the the ray function into like a like unroll the loop basically. Um, it's not quite perfect, um, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So potentially I'll be developing this a little bit further. So maybe in another six months, you'll see another development. But here it is, it's Python, ray tracing in real time. I thought this was really cool. Um, thanks for sharing this moment with me and I'll see you soon.